All right, guys, before I do too much of this thing, I picked up another car last night. Um, didn't do too much to it, but it was like really grimy, so usually I always stop at the car wash and pressure wash them off. But like I said, it was late and kind of a rush, so I didn't have time to record or anything. But we do have a new project car, and I'm going to show you guys real quick, and we're going to get it cleaned up and see what we got. So let's get to it. But yeah, as you already know, it's a Toyota MR2. I'm really, uh, I'm really happy. Like I said, I've always liked these things. I thought they were cool. So I got a pretty good deal on this one. And uh, I'm looking forward to actually seeing if we can get it running and stuff like that. And, uh, or what we're going to have to do. But I've already, like I said, I've already pressure washed it. And, you know, stopped at the car wash and sprayed it off and everything. Sprayed off the engine, the car itself. But we're going to do like a way better detail of this thing, get it cleaned up get it good where it's actually you know doesn't feel so nasty to work on to be around <laughs> and uh actually try to get this thing fired up i think it just something you know something's not kicking the fuel pump on i actually bought this car from a friend he's pretty sure he's already figured it out but he just you know you know fed up don't want to mess with it anymore but anyway let's take a look at it real quick but right off the bat you can tell this thing has i think this is a common issue like i said the bumper is just trashed it's pretty bad so i don't know if that can be fixed or not but we might give it a shot. But as far as paint and everything, this car is in pretty decent shape. Uh, the mirror right here is kind of been glued back together. I think the wing is kind of doing the same. This is one of the bummers. Got to get a rear glass. And this is a big bummer. <laughs> it's not the turbo car, which would be really cool, but you know, turbo cars these days are retarded expensive, so. And the worst thing about the car, that right there. Yep, it's the automatic. And the blue interior, I'm not too, not a big fan of. But yeah, it's not too bad. I think it's a good starting point for a cool little car. You know, me personally, I'd like to get it cleaned up and just throw some some good looking wheels on it and have something that's gonna be like really cool to drive that's cheap on gas. <laughs> but, you know, case swap or something like that'd be sick too. But, I don't know, we'll have to see. There's always something, I hate recording at my house, there's always sirens or dogs or something. It's retarded. I like live, live right in the middle of town, so. Um, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to uh, probably wash this thing on the trailer because I think it would it makes life a whole lot easier because you know, I can kind of get up under it and stuff like that. So get this thing cleaned up a little bit more and uh, give you guys another look at it because uh, the interior is kind of like I said, so anyway, we'll get all that stuff vacuumed up, cleaned up, and everything, and we'll do something with this thing. I'm pretty sure it's gonna crank up and run. We just gotta get some fuel to it, so we'll try that. But yeah, we get this thing cleaned up. I think it'll be a, a really fun car, you know, a little bit of body work and paint and stuff. But I posted on my Instagram. Um, if you haven't followed me yet, please go do so. It's RX7 Hunter. And uh, a lot of my friends have been tagging me and stuff. Someone actually LS swat one of these things. That would be freaking awesome. Because you know I'm all gay for LS stuff. But a case swat would be cool and just leaving it the way it is and having like a really clean, good on gas vehicle would be awesome as well. So I already found this little quarter glass for like 60 bucks. Hoping the guy don't back out on me on that. But yeah, we're gonna get the interior and everything out real quick to get it laid out, all the interior pieces, so we can actually see what we're what we're dealing with you and uh we'll go from there like so i've already cleaned this thing at one time it's actually cleaned up really good so yeah let's get all the stuff unloaded real quick
But yeah, that was interesting. Got a whole bag of just miscellaneous trash, just paper and stuff like that, and like some old clothes and stuff. Got the heat shields. There's an oil filter in there. We got some spark plugs. Got some funnels, some oil, big old scrub brush. Looks like the air box. So, yeah, it's a lot of garbage in here. <laughs> now let's move on to the rest of the car. This is ridiculous. Jeez. All right. Get this glass out here. Oh, I hate broken glass. That is, can't stand it. All right, let's go. Alright guys, this thing is got all the trash or you know just the big pieces out of here. There was a lot of junk. These floor mats are destroyed. My goodness. The only thing I'm gonna attempt to clean those up. Might be some useful stuff in there. I do believe this guy was a Toyota fan. I'm finding a lot of stuff for other Toyota cars, so got some insurance stuff. Yeah. So like I said, my buddy bought this as a project car. He never got it running, but I promise you we will. So, yeah. Hmm. Wasn't a good start, was it? All right. Start and vacuum all this glass out of here. That is craziness. More trash. It doesn't look like a lot because I like squished that down in there, but there was a ton of trash in this thing. It's ridiculous. All right, darn leaves don't fill in here already. It's a whole lot better, it's definitely not perfect. Definitely still needs an extremely good detailing, so. Yeah, I'm about to wash it again to get, you can see the, this was all over the exterior, that like green slime stuff or mold, whatever it is. So it was pretty nasty when I picked it up. We're gonna wash it again and uh, hopefully even improve on this. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the battery on charge. I know it's not gonna hold a charge, but hopefully just enough so we can test everything like headlights, tail lights, turn signals, all that good stuff. And maybe hook like a little temporary fuel tank up and see if this thing will run. That way, that way we'll know if it's even worth messing with. Cause you know, if I can't get it to run on a little fuel tank off to the side of the car, then it's probably not worth the headache of getting under there and putting that fuel tank in. And like restoring this thing, cleaning it up, even though it doesn't look really, really nasty, but still you definitely want to clean that out before you stick it in there. So yeah, I do believe we have all the parts of this thing. Um, so the two original wheels i have to get these off and take them back to my friend so we just borrowed those to get this thing to the house so yeah still dirty but here's a really cool tip if you have like a car that's extremely dirty get one of these little sprayers and just fill it with like simple green or your favorite cleaner like so be careful with certain cleaners because they'll mess up aluminum and stuff like that but simple green won't hurt anything so this is just full of simple green. It suds up really good and it will clean the heck out of anything almost. So pretty good stuff. You can kind of see like it cleaned up pretty good. Kind of letting it dry out a little bit. Yeah, so as soon as I get charged up, we'll try to crank this thing and see if it will actually start, which I'm like, fingers crossed that it will. So, yeah, be back in a second with that. What are you doing over last here? Last one, dang, last little bit. Okay. 
Ooh, those are fancy. Not that you can see anything. All these junk cars you got, man. Let me let me have this one. No. <laughs> yeah, taking a break from the MR2 road over Josh's house. He's trying to run right now, hide and look at him. But yeah, he just bought some wheels for his Miata. <laughs> so. So are you gonna do a burnout now? Huh? You gonna do a burnout now? Did you get one leaving your house? You see? I couldn't see it because you didn't let me record it. That's why I turned left. There's cups in there. Half a pizza. I was like, man, he definitely heard that. You know what they say? If you don't record it, it didn't happen. Man, I think he was gone. I was like, eh. Darn, darn, darn. You guys probably get to see this in daylight and actually see what it looks like. Can't see anything right now. This 350Z looks pretty cool though. Got them baller wheels, big money. Yeah, they're all junk. Still look cool though. All right, guys, it's really dark, so I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to see anything, but I'm extremely excited about this car. I wanna get it, get the fuel tank in it and everything and get it running. Um, really hadn't missed much. Um, I just took the uh, gas tank to the car wash and you know, just pressure washed inside the, car, the tank a lot. Got all the old sediment and crud and stuff out of it. It's uh, pretty clean now. Not that you're gonna be able to see it really. Um, yeah, inside and out. <laughs> uh, got a new fuel pump on there. Got a new fuel filter. All that stuff was included in the car. Um, so, got this thing in the air. It's extremely cold. I'm gonna crawl up under here and uh, get this tank in it because I have a good feeling about this car. I believe it's going to run and drive and be perfect. If anything's gonna be wrong with it, it's probably gonna be transmission related. Um, Cause I'm unsure why the car went down and set for so long. So fuel pump could have been bad and that's why. Or transmission could have been bad or something like that and it set for so long and the fuel pump went bad. Who knows, but anyway. We're throwing the tank in there and we're gonna fire this thing up tonight. Gotta make a gas tank. We gotta make a run to the gas store. Gas store. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Gotta make a run to the gas station. I am so overwhelmed and like in a rush all the time. <laughs> I can't even talk out this out. But anyway, I'm gonna throw this tank in there, run, go get some gas, and uh, hopefully fire this thing up. Cause I think it's gonna run. I got a good feeling about it. Like I've already spent money on it. So. It's totally out of the norm for me. Usually I make sure that I get it running and everything before I waste money. But the little side glass, that's been knocked out. I've already ordered that um, from a gentleman. Hopefully that's gonna come in soon. But anyway, enough of me talking some crazy stuff. Let's get this tank in there and get this little MR2 running. That's what's up. All right, now for the fun part. <laughs> okay, I got pretty much everything down and off to the side. So it should be able to just push the tank forward past the point. If it will sweep, go by the uh, sway bar right there. And just slide it up into place, hopefully. Worst case scenario, I can like put all that stuff up through because it's gotta go, kinda go back that way towards the engine. So hopefully I can, you know, push everything up that way and like swing the tank in place and just, you know, slide it up, so. But it doesn't look like it's gonna be that bad. Yeah, At, once I got all that stuff out of the way, it doesn't look like that bad, but it's probably gonna be, but we're about to find out. <laughs> all right, to say that was an absolute nightmare would be an understatement. 
I would rather pull the engine and transmission out of a 350Z than to install a gas tank in the MR2. Pain in the ass. For real. You got coolant lines that run down the length of the car. They're all in the way. You got to kind of hold those out of the way and push the tank up. It freaking... Not counting like guiding all the lines and stuff up. Freaking nightmare. But we got everything like loosely... Loosely pulled up to the top. Just got to connect everything. Put the fuel filter in, hook the top fuel line up. All right, let's see, get up in here real quick. And it's a total nightmare up under the car. All right. So we got the fuel tank up, um, all the lines for like the part brake and all that stuff's down, but I'm not even going to worry about that until we find out if this thing's actually going to run. What does that go to? But yeah, heat's. Freaking one of the shields right there, all bent up and tore up. It sucks. Uh, so, this thing is kind of grimy. Look at that. Whew. But, all right. I'm going to finish looking the. Uh, fuel lines up and everything um, get like some kind of strap or whatever is supposed to hold the tank in do that and then I'll have to make a trip to the store get some fuel and uh, then we'll try to fire this thing up but yeah see you guys in a second when we get some gas and try this so fingers crossed because if this thing doesn't run I'm going to be so big. oh my goodness because that was a lot of work for nothing so yeah all right let's get to it all right starting to rain <laughs> but i got a little bit of gas in this thing some i had sitting around the house i got the fuel line all hooked up I haven't even turned the key yet but we're going to and that stuff still kind of just loosely hooked up but anyway we're going to turn the key try to prime this thing and see if it cranks up so before i get too evolved in this thing so yeah <laughs> Having some weird issue with the locks where it wants to lock the doors for itself. That's getting very irritating. All right. Let's see what happens. Prime it a few times. Well, it definitely picked up fuel. I hear it actually building pressure. It doesn't look like it's leaking. So, what do you say we give it a shot, guys? Boy, what's up? What's up? That was first fire up. Look at that. Heck yeah, dude. First try, look at that. Crazy. That is awesome. Ooh, that's so cool. That's so awesome. Heck yeah. I can't let it run too long because I, I know it doesn't have coolant in it. Dude, it sounds really good. For a car that's been sitting for a million years. Let's go ahead and cut it off. Dude, I'm so fucked right now. You kidding me? Heck yeah! All right. Okay. So that's enough motivation right there for me to finish putting everything together and actually get some more fuel in this thing. That's awesome, man. Like legit. That was the first time I tried to crank this thing with the fuel pump and all that stuff in it. Fired right up. That's awesome. So as long as this thing will actually go into gear and move. Sweet. Sweet. All right. So I still got to do like all the braces for the for the uh, gas tank. Um, I got a lot of little stuff I got to button up. I'm going to try to do that real quick. And uh, excuse me. Try to do that real quick. And then we'll 
you know, I know I got to put coolant in it because of the one of the lines were loose. So it doesn't have any coolant, so we got to do that. And then I crank it up and I actually let it run for a little bit, so so we, so we can see if we have any other issues. All right, yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get to it. All right, oh, man, we got uh we got everything put back together up under here. Um, I'm gonna leave all the heat shields and stuff off for now just so I can clean up under this thing because it is freaking filthy. I don't know if you guys can really make this out. But as you can see the transmission, all that stuff is just like pretty grimy. So get up under here and clean this and so I can kind of see where it's leaking and all that good stuff. And right up front, I don't know if y'all can see all that. There's like all kind of mud and stuff, like in the front bumper. I'm about to pressure wash that. I'm not gonna wash the whole entire car, just up there, because there's like big chunks of mud in the fan and stuff. I don't want that to like destroy the fan, so. Yeah, well, spray that off real quick and we'll set this thing on the ground and see if it'll actually go forward and back and everything, so. Fingers crossed that the transmission's good in it. All right, guys, it's the, uh, the moment of truth right now. I'm gonna fire the MR2 up and see if this thing will actually go into gear and drive forward and back. Still runs. Like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but I know the alternator's not charging. Well, it goes into reverse. Goes into drive. That's a good sign. Let's say, uh, let me unhook the battery charger and actually take it and close the freaking whatever you want to call that <laughs> and actually stay around the block and see if it'll actually change some gears. All right, so it has developed quite a pretty something's going on with that. It has developed quite a a nice little skip I was revving it and uh, it didn't like it it started to skip a little bit but it's actually going in reverse driving pulling up the hill and stuff so Of that transmission. Well, if you manually shift first to second, it actually worked. That's probably why I was parked, so it's probably up to the transmission. Probably need to put plugs and wires in this thing, new cap and everything. Yeah, if you just put it in drive, all it does is just it goes, I think it's like it goes straight to drive or something. I don't think it's actually gearing down. Put some check the front tire pressure and we'll actually take this thing and put some yeah there it went <laughs> it's definitely not happy but of course it's been sitting for who knows how long so i wouldn't be happy either but of course i'm not going to leave it automatic or anything like that for a long period of time this was just kind of temporary yeah let me check this front tire pressure and actually go get it to some speed all right one second i'll be back <laughs> all right well we're going down the road oh man that felt funky <laughs> transmission definitely help the transmission maybe i can service it and fix that i don't know but i think it feels like a death trap of course it is on like really old tires so
turn around. I don't want to get too far from the house because, like I said, this thing's not charging the battery. So, probably going to leave me stranded. Brakes feel very, very bad. I don't know how long this car is set, but it probably set for a pretty long time. Some ball joints or something in the front end clapping around. Stretches her legs a little bit. Oh. Eesh. Skipping pretty bad, but it was running like really smooth when I when I, when I first got it running. Clears up. Pretty sure it's just like you know these plugs wires or something so. but for five hundred dollars I don't really think I could I can beat it don't really have the money or time to put into it at the moment but it'd still be a nice car to kind of work on casually some wheels on it, fix some of the suspension stuff, cheap stuff, service it. But it does run and drive, so just not very well. <laughs> I think it's worth the gamble of putting an alternator and stuff in it and everything. a good idea to rev a car with like a sketchy who knows how old um, timing belt too right yeah all right jump out real quick show you guys what five hundred dollars buys you these days <laughs> What a pile of junk. But like I said, I think it's worth investing a little money into it. Like get some new tires, kind of fix the front bumper. Just service it, see if the transmission will actually start working. Finish putting it back together. Already got the uh, quarter glass coming, so get that done. But yeah, 
Definitely not the sought after desired model, but it's an MR2. What can you say? For, like I said, for what I paid for it, I definitely couldn't turn it down. So, yeah, you'll see it around a little bit. Like I said, um, you know, try to service it. Definitely, I'm sure it needs, you know, oil change, uh, service transmission, brakes, uh, plugs, wires, cap, and all that good stuff. And uh, see if that improves it. Throw some new tires on it. And fingers crossed that this thing will actually run and drive correctly because that'd be cool to have something to just a cool little car to save on gas so and fix this front bumper and get the body on it's not too bad in shape it doesn't really have the paint's not in the best of shape but it doesn't really have any like bad dents there's like one right there and just the the normal stuff from an old car Yeah, I guess I'll end it right there. You'll definitely see this thing around. Um, usually this would be like a really good flip for me or something, but I've always wanted one of these and I think I'll hang on to it. And there's some really cool swaps you can do. Like guys are putting like case swaps in these things. You can see them do put an LS in one. So worst case scenario, it'd be a good project car for later down the road. But for now, I'm just gonna end it here and we'll uh, service it up and see what happens then. So that's it. See you guys on the next one.